guys, this is Julie from Team Epic Reads, and for today's DIY project, we're going to be making your very own dream catcher inspired by Lucy Keating's Dreamology. So this project is actually glitter free, um, but the materials that you'll need today are an embroidery hoop, some embroidery thread, beads, which are optional, feathers, scissors, a hot glue gun, and some additional ribbon, which is also optional. So our first step is to create the web within the dream catcher. Now you can cover your embroidery hoop with a more decorative ribbon if you want, or you can leave it plain for a more rustic feeling. And today we're just gonna leave it plain, um, but you can do whatever you want. You can paint it, you could even, I'm sure Elizabeth would put glitter on it. You could do whatever you think is best. So to measure out the amount of ribbon or thread that you'll need, um, just take the, embroidery thread and wrap it around the hoop twice. That should give you more than enough. Do you want to take your thread and tie a knot right at the top of where it is. You will hang it. Once you've done that, you're going to take some of your thread and go to another point. Just flip it around. Pull it through so it creates a straight line. And you're gonna do the same thing all the way around the hoop. And it helps if you pull it tight, but if you want a more open web, you can do it looser. So Dreamology is about a girl named Alice, and for as long as she can remember, she's been dreaming about a boy named Max. And in their dreams, they've done so many things together. They're best friends, they've traveled the world, and they've really fallen in love. But the whole problem is that Max just really doesn't exist. I mean, I don't know how many dreams you've had about cute boys and wish they were real, but I've definitely had a couple. Um, but Alice walks into a new school, and lo and behold, real Max is sitting right there. And what would you guys do? I don't know what I would do. I would just be so nervous. So the next step is to create the second inner loop. You're gonna take your embroidery thread and tie a knot on one of the first loops. And then same as you did before, just take your thread, make a little loop, and keep going. And remember, the tighter you do it, um, the easier it kind of comes together, and you'll create a more intricate pattern if you want that. You can also introduce other colors into your web. We're going with pinks and purples and yellows so, to match our Dreamology cover. And you just tie it in the center of one of your loops and keep weaving. And you're gonna keep doing this until the entire loop is filled to the center. So after you're done completing your web, um, you're going to have a couple of housekeeping little snips to do. This is from when you've cut your string each time making a new layer. So you're just gonna go in with your scissors and kind of clean that up. So now it's time for a little movie magic. I'm gonna bring in my dream catcher I did at home so you can see the next steps. To add some feathers, you simply create um, so long strings and hang them from the bottom, and then just use your hot glue gun and glue them to each thread. So ultimately, you have these beautiful long hanging feathers. I also added some beads in the center and put a string on top so this can be easily hung. After you're done making your dream catcher, I hope you hang it above your bed and you dream of cute boys like Alice does in Dreamology. If you have any ideas for DIY videos, please leave them in the comments below. Bye!